What is up YouTube? Today I'm going to give you the top five ATVs you can get under a thousand dollars. So if you're trying to save some money, this is definitely a way to do it. So buying an ATV for a thousand dollars, you're going to make some sacrifices. And what we're going to sacrifice more is cosmetics versus mechanical abilities. A lot of these are still very good, reliable machines, but they are generally the less sought after because of their cosmetics. Number five on that list, I'm going to put the Yamaha Moto Fours. Now they made these in like a 200, a 225, a 350. I mean, they were all pretty solid machines. Yamaha made a great machine for the Moto Fours, and a lot of these were made like up until like 96, like late 80s to 96. They're great machines. Um, sometimes they're they're real bad about having some ugly looking plastics because they sun damage real bad. But mechanically, those things will run forever. Number four on that list will be the Yamaha Bear Tracker 250s. Now these were great machines. The plastics hold up very well. The whole quad, they were just overall good mechanically built machines. They last. You can always find these under $1,000. If you find one, somebody's got it priced for $1,300, offer them $1,000, $900, $800, you know, depends what kind of shape the tires are in, stuff like that. Offer them $800, see what happens. Number three on that list will be the Yamaha Big Bears and Kodiaks. The early 90s models, they can generally be found right under $1,000 or right at $1,000. These, uh, sometimes they're a little harder to find, especially since they're four-wheel drives, so they're a little more sought after. But those first-gen Big Bear, Kodiak, 350, 400s, great machines, very well built, and you can get them in four-wheel drive. Number two on that list is the Kawasaki Bayou 220s. This also, I would say the 300s and 400s, but the 220s were absolute tanks. But being they are a smaller quad, they are smaller than most other 250s, they're not exactly as sought after. So they're very easy to find for under $1,000. I sold one for a thousand bucks a few weeks ago and that thing was in great shape. And last but not least, number one on that list is one of my favorites, it's the Honda Recon 250. Now these quads were very well built to last. Specifically this body style Honda Recon, the 98 to 2004, where mechanically and internally, these are pretty much the same quad with very slight differences, but these had a different front end and can generally be found right at $1,000. They're two wheel drive, built to last. You really don't even need four wheel drive because they're so light, they can be easily maneuvered out of any type of mud pit if you even manage to get it stuck just because they don't weigh nothing. Thanks for watching. And if you have a quad that you see, you, you see all the time for under $1,000 that you think could be had, Put that down in the comments. Maybe you'll help somebody else out.